Welcome back. Today we've got another unboxing for you. This time, the Free Folk starter set for A Song of Ice and Fire, the Game of Thrones miniature game. Let's open this bad boy up. Just like the other starter sets, we have everything that you need to start playing right away. We've got the tactics board. We've got the rule book with the free folk artwork on it. Makes it a lot easier to know which is your copy and which is your opponent's. We have the cardstock terrain, tokens, and range ruler. Then we have the cards, including the unit cards, the siege cards, mission cards, objective cards, tactic cards, and whatnot. More dice, again, never too many dice. And then for the excitement, the miniatures. Continue with the Simon tradition, the miniatures are packed in their protective plastic case. Alright, so again, we've got the movement trays. They've got the direction and arcs molded in. There's texture on them, so if you don't want to add sand or flock, you don't need to. These are for the Savage Giants. And here they are. Something has to be said about giant miniatures. They're so well sculpted, full of detail and character. Next up we've got the heroes. We've got Mance, Tormund, Lady Val, and here's Craster in his chair. For the rank and file miniatures, we've got two full units of Free Folk Raiders, as well as the unit of Free Folk Trappers. It looks like we also have a variety of unit attachments and commanders. Let's take a closer look. Well, there you have it, the contents of the Free Folk starter set for A Song of Ice and Fire, the miniature game. I'm actually quite excited to get these painted up. We'll probably have a couple of videos on how to paint these, um, but this is one of the two armies that are officially out that I'm extremely excited about, the other one being the Night's Watch. Um, I'm also really looking forward to them coming out with the Night King's army, if they do. Uh, I know it's been hinted at, but not officially announced yet. Uh, I don't know why it is, but every time I pick an army, it tends to be the Horde slash Swarm army. Um, I guess I'm just attracted to lots of miniatures. Well, till next time, and make sure you like this video and subscribe. Click the bell icon to get notifications, and if you really like this content and want to help us out, join our Patreon. Thanks again.